Hey everyone, welcome to this week's Stonehearth Desktop Tuesday. As those of you who have been following along with us know, Alpha 17 is all about building, and this week I am incredibly, incredibly proud and excited to show you the newest addition to our building editor, Yang and Tony's dynamic stair tool. Yes, people, at last, we have a stair tool in the building editor. That means wood stairs, and stone stairs, and clay stairs. We have stairs that stand alone, and stairs that auto-level to the height of the surface you place them at. We have stairs that rotate with comma and period. We have stairs that are fully supported, and stairs that allow for Harry Potter 9 privet drive sleeping situations. Everyone, I fully understand that you may just have to be a Stonehearth engineer like me, who is chained to their desk for 40 hours a week making templates and counting voxels inside houses, and swearing quietly because the foundation is too narrow and I must start over for the hundredth time, but I find this is so epic that I'm really short for words. Nevertheless, the show must go on. So why, you ask, has it taken so long for us to get a dynamic stair tool in the game? Well, as Yang explains, making stairs requires plenty of maths. First, as with the ladder tool, you have to shoot a ray into the world to figure out if the mouse is pointing at a vertical segment. Then, given that point in the world and the width of the stairs, you have to write an equation that will dynamically generate the appropriate shape. This can be quite complex. For example, what if there's a piece of furniture in the way? What if the terrain is irregular? The equation must account for rotation and dynamically recalculate itself when the mouse moves or conditions change. And once you put the stairs down in the world, you have to be sure that they integrate with the rest of the building tools. Tony originally gave stairs a try almost a year ago and had to shelve it because there were so many more pressing issues at that time, like hearthlings having OCD and starving to death while sorting items into and out of stockpiles. Yang took his code and tried to finish it, but likewise found it impossibly riddled with corner cases and conditions. Lucky for us, in the year since, Yang has leveled up a ton by working with the building editor UI and on a number of other building bugs and performance issues, and this time, when she revisited the same code, she managed to bring it into line in just under a week. A week! We, her teammates, are all amazed. And that's it for this week! Look for Yang's dynamic stairs and Ali's cute icons for them in the building editor in the next unstable release of Alpha 17. And then, we hope you go crazy with them. In the meantime, let us know what you think in the comments or on our blog at discourse.stonehearth.net. See you next week!